Welcome everybody! We are starting into our housing hike. This is casually touring player houses in the Elder Scrolls Online and seeing the cool things that people have been up to. I am Jahar Ellis, guild leader of Spicy Economics and Spicy Life. I love, I adore ESO housing. You can do so much with it. You can show off your creativity. You can make it your own, personalize it. We're going to go to six houses tonight. That'll be each different one from one another. There's no particular theme to our housing hike. We're just going to go and have some fun gawk at some of the creations that other players have made and have some fun with it. So, first up, we're going to go to Everelia's Court of the King, Hall of the Lunar Champion. So, here we go into our first house. I'm using a central housing hub to port around to all these different houses. It's part of the essential housing tools add-on developed by Cardinal05. Essential housing tools, great add-on if you want to go get that. Love, love it for the hub, love it for a lot of other things. So, porting here to Everelia's home. I believe Everelia had submitted this home for our Hall of the Lunar Champion competition, but, but she said that she redid the first room, and so she wanted me to come and see what she changed about it. Everelia had also just worked on our Furnishing Frenzy contest. Did a really good job with that, so that, that was really fun. So, Everelia, I'm excited. <laughs> Everelia is here in Twitch chat says cross his finger that the FX works I, I hope it does we'll see. I, I saw that I had them yeah so visual effects is another cool feature of essential housing tools here we go going into the Hall of Lunar Champion new home introduced with elsewhere do have a bunch of we did a big contest with that where I toured 25 of, 25 of these places so if you wanted to go check my you know subscribe to me on YouTube there are videos of that up there Okay, so Everelia. Everelia's home. Ooh, this is really quite pretty. I'm gonna turn the UI off so you can see more of the place. Oh, I, I love how there's like a lot of privacy here. But it's very peaceful with all the plants and everything, very peaceful with all the moves. Brenda Hilda Draconia with a follow. Thank you so much. <laughs> so we do have a really beautiful inner room for the Hall of the Lunar Champion. Now, the, the interesting thing about this place is it's kind of like very square, kind of kind of boxy. And it does have these pillars that you have to work around. So Everelia has really transformed this place. Five Star Geyser says, I love that spot. How did they get the water in the middle? Oh, well, they used the visual effects. So just using a couple subtle visual effects here from Essential Housing Tools, this is something that is a, a client side feature, but there are ways to share it with the community. So Everelia has shared, shared the visual effects with me using the community hub. And so getting cool water effect there. Ooh, I okay, just a couple couple really cool decorating things. So I believe these are statue bases from the from the luxury vendor, and then what Everelia has done has inlaid these if I can land on top of it, uh, inlaid these with the orcish clan seals or these octagonal uh, seals. If you flip them over they're just kind of flat and gold on the bottom of it. So we end up with these nice kind of gold inlaid stepping stones going onto the throne. And very tranquil here, right? Love the magical glow to this place with the lights, those glow stalks, star bloom flowers behind, fabric and trees look nice. Lots of lots of color here. Lots of pink and gold and red and green and blue. Very peaceful, very peaceful. Color says colors from, or color from chaos says gorgeous place. Colors knows a thing or two about colors, right? So looking really beautiful and colorful here. Lovely fountain. Ooh, using some of these Daedric sconces from the luxury vendor the other week. They fit pretty well with the dwarven fountain. Interestingly, I, I, it's the way that the light reflects off of the metal components of it. Frigo Let Go says very charming. Mix says amazing. Again, using the, the seals here to just add a little light here. Does reflect a lot with the gold nature of it. 
Ooh, really nice. Very cold harbory with with uh, the Daedric doorway behind there. The centered stones from Clockwork City. It's just like <laughs> layers built up over time. It has a very old feel to it because of that. I like going with a lot of blue light in this place. Oh, try to get a good camera angle. Really beautiful. Maybe get some screenshots as I go through. Or we have a sweet mother. Dark Brotherhood. Everelli has done a really great job of transforming this place. I do not recognize this from the first time I came through. I think when she said she changed it, I think she I started from the beginning. <laughs> Oh, again, just a little subtle water effect here. Layering multiple furnishings within here. So we have the the wood elf cauldron or basin and then putting in a, is it a dark elf basin? So using a couple of furnishings, stacking them together and instead of just using one or the other, so it gives it a bit more complexity. And it looks really nice. Okay. Color says, so many good ideas. Very good work decorating the hall. Dubat says, it's cold harbory, but not cold. Very nice. Yeah, it's it's really peaceful and inviting here. <laughs> Everelia. I think I saw Everelia on a Khajiit character earlier today. Maybe that explains the yarn ball and the cloth and and the sugar bowl could maybe it could be something to do with that this is very elsewhere centric so that is kind of like a more kajiti style but i think this is beautiful right it's i think uh, elsewhere style one of the more beautiful things the latest one added looking good delicious that's so pretty we have a little bit of a treasure pile here we are putting together some details for a a treasure room contest so look look for details on that coming out in the next couple days on the ESO housing forum I see and did I miss anything on the other side I probably did I didn't look at this already I like how just even adding like the curved wall into the room you know you you put a couple of flowers on it so it, it fits a little bit better and it just kind of breaks this up a little bit. So it's kind of using this as a divider. And adding a light on the end of it. And then normally you would be able to port into the other wing of this. But this has been blocked off. So it's just an inside room. And really, really built up mushrooms on mushrooms with a fountain next to it. Very mushroomy look. Mine's Stargazer says, looks very nice, simple, but beautiful. <laughs> Grandma the Gamer has a new aquarium. Oh, maybe I can tour it next week. Next week. I, I, I'm i full up on houses for for tonight's housing hike. But if you do want me to come and tour a home, you can shoot me a mail in-game at jhrls. That can be on PCNA or PCEU. We do this every Friday night. Okay, so thank you, Everelia. I, I dwelled a lot on this, but I, I think it's because it was also beautiful. Uh... Great job, great job. And just a couple subtle visual effects here and there just to add like water and things like that. So, looks really nice. Okay, we'll move on to our next home. We'll hike off to our next home. We have two homes from Danuvial. Go to the Sleek Creek house first. And then, there's Sir Dog Jungle House. So, perfect, perfect. Sue Blue says, nice division of the space. Ever always says thank you for visiting. I couldn't stop fiddling with it. <laughs> you fiddled a lot with it. Like a lot, lot going on there. All looks so nice. Color says gorgeous Everelia. Thank you for sharing it with us. Yes, thank you so much. I, I always want to thank everybody that opens up their house for me to, to tour these. I have a lot of fun with it, and I really enjoy them. So thank you so much. 
Okay, Denuvials up next. Now, Denuvial said that they had maxed out these thank places you, 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 you. and they had a lot of fun with it. So, I wonder what they mean by fun. <laughs> we'll find out here in a sec. Stabity Doom with the five month resub. You are amazing, Stabity Doom. Stabity. By the way, Stabity like helps me so, so much. So, I, I want to thank Stabity here. <laughs> Stephanie with a heart. Thank you so much. Okay, so D Denuvial's Sleek Creek. I didn't have a lot of information about this place other thank you, than thank you, thank that you. they said that they maxed it out, which they did. They're at 400 out of 400 on the item planet. Mad Hatter X334 with the resub. Three months. Thank you so much. Wow, well, I guess this, we'll do, I think, I think we'll get to our daily sub goal. We'll do a big Twitch chat giveaway at the end. Perfect, perfect. Okay, oh, okay, so we do have Elfik. We have, okay, Sleek Creek is. Normally, like a Kajiti type feel to it. I see, I see Droa Mothra. I see Smuggler. I see Alfik. Makes me think this is a Kajiti type home, right? <laughs> so I have a Hulalu salt lamp. I wish. <laughs> okay, wait, okay, so we have a kind of a Kajiti feel to this place. We do have the Sleek Creek with all the water. Comes with the place. The salt lamps are pretty cool. Yeah, I, li I like those because they can toggle between red and blue and green. They're really pretty. A lot of water. Adding a little everlasting waterfall here too. So kind of maybe like the water source here. Very colorful. Nice place to sit by the fire. Very cozy. Oh, I like the, the fish that have been added to the fire pit. This is the Khajiit fire pit. It's just like a green quality craftable furnishing this fire pit is. Does have does have this spike there so you can stick stuff on it like the fish here. So get creative with that. <laughs> I think that works really well. I I love I don't I've seen a lot of fire pits. Maybe simplicity can be a good way to go. I think people often overlook cheap things like that. They can get those off the guild treasure to craft them themselves. And then on the other hand, you have sh the sh shivering cheese. Very, <laughs> very expensive thing, but it has high impact. And the sweet rolls, ooh, I love the sweet rolls. Very nicely displayed on this Eleanor platter. Yum, yum, yum. Beautiful, all the paintings behind there. Framing that with the carpet. Breton carpet, I think, has been it's been upturned there, so you kind of have a good wall here with a bit of texture. So, throwing a carpet up sideways to get some good texture as a backdrop for these paintings. That looks nice. That looks nice. I like the I like the carpet there, especially this one because it kind of has like kind of like a little viney look to it, which fits the kind of elsewhere style. Not that that's the style that it is, but it ends up kind of fitting very nicely. Similar. A couple of parallels there. Beautiful. We have the Alfique. Alfique with the merchant cart. Sabi says it's right out of a country living magazine. <laughs> it's, it's very nice, right? Beautiful plants. Love the scuttle blooms. Okay. Oop. And we'll head up. I like how I like how this Alfique is guarding the treasure. <laughs> There's so much gold in there; it doesn't quite all fit. They have a couple of extra stacks out here. Those must be the latest latest payments that haven't been stowed away yet. <laughs> it's kind of it's clever because the, the chest isn't openable or anything, so you put the coins outside, so you can just imagine that there's more treasure inside. So that's creative. Pixel did says, "Good idea, good idea." Dubat says it has those tile-like elements. Yeah, yes. Definitely reminds me of some of the elsewhere stuff, even though it's not what it is. So it kind of, you can mix styles and make it work. And this is like the scariest place ever to have a rocking chair. <laughs> it's like rock forward, worry about falling in the water. Rock backward, worry about falling off. 
maybe if it weren't on such like an uneven surface. I don't know. It's a little scary. Living dangerously, especially with the especially with the wine here. But it's a beautiful view. It is a beautiful view. <laughs> Rock right off the stairs. I. Uh, it's fine. It's fine. You get a good breeze here, right? It's a good view. That's what makes it nice. Dr. Brandwood says, Sleek Creek is my absolute favorite. It's hard not to like it. Okay, up. Up, up, up. Oh, we have a azure, Jura. A little bit of a floral arrangement to honor her. Looking good, looking good. And we have the Varnfell. Oh, we have we have like a lot going up on top of the house. This is one thing that you can do. You can build up. Use like staircases or ramps or whatever you want to use to build up on top of your home. Not everybody does that. This is kind of fun seeing some various things here. Ooh, using that temple moon pad and then having the tree grow out of it. And then the fog there. It's just kind of feels like the tree is like magically growing out of this maybe it will grow up forever it's like jack and the beanstalk type of a look to it <laughs> oh ooh, i almost fell off cloud treasure says very cute house <laughs> and up above we have a billion butterfly bushes amazing let me <laughs> we have a sit here just watch all the butterflies I see the kitten here is going to be watching all the butterflies too. I can imagine why this would be a favorite spot for the kitten. So many butterflies. This color says that has a great use for the moon gate. I think it's the moon temple pad. The, the moon gate is the one that kind of circles around and it's here big and has a grindy noise to it. Okay, and going down oh there's even how did i miss this there's like a whole extra layer has been built up here yeah on on the off the balcony here okay wow big area that's been built up and we have ooh very very centrally placed bathtubs with the wine and the shells and the salt lamp, very sexy salt lamp. Couple spa. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what it is. And great view here, right? I suppose the sleek creek down below is maybe not the cleanest. That's why you have the cleaner bath water up here. That might explain a few things. <laughs> Sammy says it's like it's, yeah, it's like the Viagra Cialis commercials. I I know, that's exactly the first thing I thought of. But I didn't say it. Thank you, Stabity. Thank you, Stabity. Good things happen at Slick Creek. Okay, and then we have ooh, have a fancy skooma skooma tent. And I do see a Jester's Copper. It's gonna have something amazing in it. It's okay. It's okay. Hold it together. Okay, we have we have beautiful skooma area. I love all the colorful pillows, right? With the purples and the reds and the blues. <laughs> I don't yeah. Why has never anybody ever given me coffer goodies? I don't know. They're only like three openable items in the in ESO. You can hide things in here. You can put something fun in there. And instead, people choose not to. I think I think they just like getting a non-reaction out of me. That was plates of salt lamp. <laughs> Let me get turn different colors here. I'm gonna leave it green. No, okay, I'll leave it red. Nice and red for the cute couple here. Okay, there actually is an inside to this place too. Let's head inside. Stevie <laughs> says I put him in them. And I have a little a little tiny NPC with with the horns that you can st stick in there if you have essential housing tools. A little jarring seeing multiples of myself, but flattering nonetheless. And then inside we have an alchemical look to this place. 
research, magical research. We have the magical books. We have the magical black cat with the Sigic Orb. Nice red guard feel in here. Kajiti feel in here with elsewhere tapestries and the moon plaques up on the wall. And red guard pillows and beds and carpets. Red guard and Kajit styles tend to mesh pretty well. So, looking fantastic. Thank you, Denuvial. 400 out of 400 items on the Sleek Creek. Did a great job with it. <laughs> I added a lot outside. Okay, Denuvial does have a second home for me to go tour tonight, so we'll go to Denuvial's Cerdoke Jungle House up next. If I can pour in. Perfect, perfect. <laughs> Half bit. Dragon Warrior. Dragon Warrior. 19 months. 19 months. Dragon Warrior, that's like, I can't even count that high. Like, that's like 10, and then it's like another 9. Pinky was the worst one to put down there. So 10 and 9. 19 months, Dragon Warrior. Thank you so much for your continued support. You are, you are amazing. <laughs> and that does get us to our double, how can I not put it in here? Well, it does get to our double daily sub goal, which means we'll give away an extra 200k to trip chat at the end of this. Okay, come on. It's gonna put me in at some point. Thank you so much, thank you so much. Dragon Warrior, thank you. <laughs> Big. You are busy. No, stop it, stop it. Let me put it in. Fifth time's a charm. Fifth time's a charm. Perfect. Okay, heading into the Cereal Jungle House. <laughs> Star says it's bad. I can't count beyond 10 as a GM of a major trading guild. I'm, I am pretty good at math. To my own credit. To my own credit. See, see, the trick here is you can use your toes, too. That can, that will double how far you can go in life. So, that's a major math tip right there. Okay, the Nuvials. Sir Duck Jungle House. So this is a 200 out of 200 home, so maxed out. Denuvial did say they had a lot of fun decorating this place. So, Cyrodiil Jungle House, some imperial setting for this. And really lovely garden area. Lots of good uses of home goods, furnishing plants, like the ferns and the saplings and the sunbird flowers. Desert sunrise flowers here. Looking beautiful. The hibiscus. Good crafting area. I think, <laughs> hey, these are the same carpets that we saw in the previous home. Except for they're actually being used as carpets this time. They have like a dusty look, which makes sense for being outdoor, right? I see they like those butterfly bushes. And the Elfique. The cool thing about getting something like a assistant, like the Alfik are, is they count against their own furnishing cap. So you can actually put these in every single one of your homes if you want. So that applies to the mounts and the pets and some of the other special furnishings. Wait, there's a dresser's coffer? Did somebody see, somebody see a dresser's coffer? I didn't see a dresser's coffer. This arc is not openable. I wish it were. <laughs> wait, did I miss something? Oh, there be some, oh, wait, I missed a coffer. Did Was there a coffer? I didn't see a coffer. Must backtrack. Must see if there was a coffer. <laughs> Stabity. Yeah, I we went to a home that was nothing but 700 coffers. Sadly, all empty. Okay, that's not actually openable. Okay, gonna head up. Another kind of secret room being added above here with the Orcish Gazebo. Ooh. Oh, this is nice with the Dwarven Fountain there. Nice place setting. Has some nice fresh fruit. I don't think the monkey down below has touched it too much. With the wine. P 
Perryite's probably not something I want next to my food. But, it is a cute little dragon sculpture there. <laughs> Chrisea says that the fountain looks great nestled into the roof line like that. Yeah, it really does. It frames it really nicely, right? And beautiful bowl of sweet rolls and fruit. Ooh, I, I love the coloring here because we have the elsewhere uh, rug that's been added down below here. It has the red and the blue and the gold look to it, right? And then what do we have here? We have all the throw pillows that are those colors as well. So I, I like how those kind of marry together. So that looks, that looks really nice. I like the colorings on those. I believe with the scale breaker update that some of these textures are going to be revisited like on this like on the carpet here it will look a little crisper with uh with the next major update so excited about that with scale breaker collage trader says the pillows are perfect with the rug i think so i definitely think so okay we're gonna go ahead inside inside Miss anything out here? A couple roasted things. We have... We have the Khajiit guarding the wine. Don't think that will stop me. <laughs> and we go! <laughs> oh, Denuvial is here! Oh, Denuvial says, I tried to jump down to the way shrine, but you can't. <laughs> oh no. Oh, inside. Ooh, I was not expecting this. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, a little bit of a transition. Let me just show this off. Okay, so we have a nice, beautiful courtyard. Nice and flowery. And then head inside and Dark Brotherhood. <laughs> you would have expected nothing. Okay. Well, wouldn't have expected Dark Brotherhood madness in here. Oh, so we have a beautiful... The, the beautiful tapestries and the carpets, the red and black. We have the mother, the sorrowful mother here. I like how all the flowers have been added to it. It's kind of peaceful, but creepy. And a big stained glass window. Where Trudy says, all the flowers in the statue is a nice touch. I, I think so. I think so. Look up, look up. Oh! Ack. Oh no, I think <laughs> we have the smuggler. The smuggler's probably about to pounce down on me and probably stab me in the back. That's or slit my throat. Or whatever she's gonna do to blade of woe me to death, right? I am the mark. I am Here's a challenge for you. Take one of these bounty sheets and add little moo horns to it. <laughs> no, um just See, see, which which one do I look like the most? Maybe, maybe. So we have Dark Brotherhood. I'm gonna put marks out there. Go, go a stabbing, go a stabbing. Is there like a secret way in here? I thought there was like an extra room. Is there? Maybe not. Maybe maybe that's it. Okay, looking nice. Interesting pairing of the Brotherhood window from the luxury vendor with the Rathana de Renata mural wall that it can earn from elsewhere. So so the big stained glass circle is from a luxury vendor and then the wall behind it is, it has that music that you hear coming out of it and it has this light effect. So it kind of makes it look like the light is coming out of the heart, makes it a bit more magical. <laughs> Far left when my helmet is off. That one? Yeah, probably. <laughs> Need a couple of gold, gold pokey things coming out of it. And I'll be scared. And I will be scared. I don't want to be wanted. I'm not a wanted moo. Okay. Thank you, Denuvial. Thank you so much. Amazing. I wasn't expecting a Dark Brotherhood meeting area in here. Love it. Love it. Okay. Three homes down, three to go. Next, we'll go to Miliana's Lynchel Grand Manor. Thank you, Denuvial, for letting me come and tour your two homes. <laughs> Stop.
Stabity, revealing my secrets. <laughs> okay, next up, we're going to go to Meliana's Lynchal Market. So, I'm thinking that's in the Lynchal Grand Manor. There's going to be a marketplace in here. Continuing with our housing hike. Toying player houses, getting some decoration inspiration, seeing some things people have been up to. I think this has been really great so far. Ooh, a market. A market. I see a lot going on behind. This does not feel like lynchal. <laughs> okay, can I step up through here? Through the moon gate. This is the moon gate. Achievement furnishing from Rimmon. Chris I says, Hey, Jet Hart, I did not see my name on the list. R. Oh! I can! I have. Oh, I don't have your visual effects, though. You had sent me a mail about it. I printed off the mail that you sent me. It's right here. Um, I'll have to see if I have the visual effects, but I'll go to it today, Kaseya. You are right. I forgot about that. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll see. I'll add it and see if I can't get to that at the end. Okay. They are the community. I'll, I'll make sure I have them. Okay, but for now... For now, we're in Miliana's Lynchal Market. Wow, this place has really been changed, like, completely. Ooh, Miliano with a changing room. Clothier station here. Lots of these bright fabrics here. <laughs> some of these are some of the really rare ones that can steal from elsewhere. <laughs> Delicious says, this isn't Lynch it can't be. I know. Oh, wait, oh, we have Dragon Friend up above. Hello, Dragon Friend. So using tons and tons of the, the stairways and floors and curved walls and everything that are structural pieces that are craftable in the elsewhere style to really build this place up. Okay, how am I not going to miss stuff here? Okay, just going to walk around... Have the camel. Oh, we have like a watering hole here. Oh, I like the the face there in the water. Or the shrine. Kind of sunken in. See, it's like an unusual placement for the shrine. So it's kind of like, it kind of feels like maybe the water wasn't there originally. It feels very old. With like the trees, trees growing up into the structure as well. Beautiful design choices. Ooh, using the shed here. Very rare shed. You can get that from... There, there are two sheds that are only available by buying homes. If you buy the Aldwalafi Harbor House or the Amaya Lake Lodge, they each come with a shed. Each one is different, though, but just using <laughs> using the shed here just as, as a nice framing for this produce stand. Seems like... <laughs> seems like... Some critters are getting into it, though. Nina Sky says, I love that changing room. So much attention to detail. I, I know. That's just like the very first room here, too. And with the walls, or with the, with the mirrors, kind of lighting them up against the walls so that you can get a nice curved look to that. Like, a lot of great details in this place. What's this, this blue room? Let's see. We, oh, we have, like, a... Now, we do have a little dragon imp. Now, it kind of makes me feel like since the imp is out, it's done one of two things. It's either escaped here, or it is the vendor. <laughs> so like, I can kind of imagine a little dragon imp here being a little bit of a... Uh, in the... kind of betraying little fellow pets here. Which two homes are those in? Uh, Amaya Lake Lodge and Alt Velothi Harbor Home. Oh, and then we have, ooh, so continuing with our market theme here, we have the blue light kind of drawing me in here, and we have the Alfique, who wants to tell me a fortune. The crystal ball. Oh, with the skulls. I think these are all the previous clients. I don't know if I want my fortune. It's like, I can tell your fortune with great accuracy. You're going to be added to the pile. It's like, wait, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> I suppose I should have gone for a really terrible Khajiit accent on that, but... Q 
cute, cute fortune teller. <laughs> Too bad says this one has fortune if you have a coin. Accurate, accurate. Okay, oh, so many amazing details here. So this is from Miliana. Oh, oh, love the love the look of this. Again, colorful pillows make a difference here. Oh, there's a ramp up. Okay, I don't want to go up. There's so many other little side rooms to go explore. Beautiful alchemical space. Using the display case here on its side. With the Mark Meyer items down below for just a nice sturdy texture to that, right? Looks really, looks really beautiful. Looks like we have some vases. Some urns here for sale in the market. So the, the theme here is a marketplace, so it's, it's looking great. This is Miliana, Wolfstar asks. I'll show you. Mil Miliana's Lynch Grand Matter. Uh, PCNA. Okay, I'm gonna. <laughs> There's so much going on here, and everything's just done so well. I have a couple oddities on display, maybe a couple more rare things from various adventures, like the horn, like this nice mirror behind glass. I like that. That's using the Craglorn display case from the luxury vendor and pairing it with the elsewhere dis display stand. So you get just like a very, uh, normally the display case has like, a, it's very big has like a big area here, but angling it like this, you're just kind of taking advantage of the two angles there. So it's a very, very narrow, I'm not describing this well, very narrow uh, glass case for this. Instead of being really big. <laughs> like you put a really big thing in the display case has this. Anyway, I like the way these are displayed. That's what I'm saying. It's smart, somebody says. Yes, that's what I'm trying to say. Or the same over here, perfect, perfect. Seems like maybe, maybe I think it was here sold. Looks nice. Dubat says, don't have your hand mirror stolen, <laughs> even if you pickpocketed originally. Yeah, these hand mirrors are pickpocketable from elsewhere. Oliana using a lot of the rare new furnishings that have been added with elsewhere. Oh, Meliana's done some vet hard mode Sunspire stuff. Good deal. I want it. <laughs> I didn't go get my hands on those. Not a lot of houses. I think this is the first time I've seen it in a house. That's a... Uh, no, is that Locusties? Uh, two dragons you can get from the achievement vendor. Or Yulnokran. I don't remember which. One's gold, one's silver. One, one's a fire one, and one's the ice one, right? Must do Vet Sunspire. We need we need the housing Vet Sunspire runs, just so we can unlock some furnishings. <laughs> oh, and we have... Ooh. Ooh, lovely. Using this gazebo. Again, just for the, just for the roof overhead. We have like a lot of spices on display here. Ah, but the skooma bubbler too. Maybe we're grinding things up and putting them in the pipe. Interesting. So we have we have spices, we have the moon sugar. Merchant won't ask too many questions. <laughs> the, with the pipes, I I kind of love this we, with the giant horn. You know, I'm, I'm all about them horns. So we do have the giant horn here being used to smoke something. <laughs> Adding the sensor inside to give the smoke effect. That's, that's funny. <laughs> I love it. And back, okay, back here we have, oh wow, very well stocked uh, wine wine display here, right? So we have lots of wines in the racks or, or on tap. We have bottles of rare things. And then 
even adding like the tablets back there are kind of like it's like a like marketplace order it also just gives us an older feel to it like oh these are some nice vintages here's here's the original bill of sale type of a thing <laughs> like Maybe a bit of validation, or maybe some credentials back there. Maybe they, wait, maybe they haven't updated their operating license in the last 20 years. I think that's what this one is. You know what I'm talking about. Maybe it's a wine menu. I, I may be reading into it. <laughs> Korea says, people are so creative. I, I love it, I love it. Korea says, this is so amazing. I, it's just like every room you go to, there's something fantastic oh gosh okay oh no it's like okay where do i go first okay alfie here is greeting me we have librarian library i think we have some books maybe just a bookseller with the merchant theme or maybe these maybe it's a library with the ferns and the vases beautiful Ooh, ooh, I love, I love the curved walls with the, with the flaming boulders down below. It frames that so beautifully with, with the curved fireplace. I think this is a stealable idea. I just, I just, just want to throw that out there. I think, I think curved fireplaces may become the new meta. I'm steal this build type of a thing. Okay, just love the curved fireplace. Stephanie Specs is beautifully done. Ooh, a little place to come and have a sit here, view everything. I like those Hakashi lanterns out there. Very festive. Very welcoming. <laughs> the bedroom with the sweet roll, with a pile of riches. Looking really nice here. Austin Orange with a follow. Thank you. Welcome to our housing hike. We are touring player houses right now getting decoration inspiration do we have a bath area here we do we have a shower with the steam with a dwarven pipe feeding that so that's an eleanor fountain with the dwarven pipeline that ends up fitting pretty well right because otherwise you have to kind of cover that up so it makes sense makes sense <laughs> clever shower I like it. It's pretty simple, but it's really effective there. Okay, let me go back around because I know there are other rooms I missed. Oh my goodness. Alfique has more books. Alfique has a bit of a thing for books. And the scrolls there. <laughs> the kettle on top of the book. Kind of adding details here. Kind of imagine how they're living. Beautiful bath area. Again, adding some of these new elsewhere furnishings like the fan and the mirror. Or, oh wow, they even have the the moon dancer tryst bottles. And I don't remember the exact name of them. They're very, very rare bottles. <laughs> there are a couple different types of those. Yeah, but you can pickpocket those. Where the brush here? The brush is pickpocketable. Avina with a hey, good to see ya. Everly says stuff on the bed is so cute and realistic. Yeah, it's like all spread out, kind of like what like you're sitting there <laughs> trying to trying to multitask here, right? And another good sitting area on the other side. Okay, now I'm pretty sure I missed at least one room. I I want to say, and oh, by the way, using the, the dragon door here, good touch. I, or did I, did I? No, I didn't go over this way, did I? Up the ramp, that's where I didn't go, up the ramp. Okay, I knew I forgot something. Up the ramp, we have, Maybe, maybe a, maybe more poor side of the market. 
I think that's what it's going for. So maybe, maybe a place for. Maybe the merchants that aren't doing so well, or maybe those that are not employed by the market. They are, or maybe I'm misreading this. Back alley, yeah, back a little back alley. <laughs> Homeless section. It might be that. I, I'm. It's hard to tell without. NPCs here. There's not like a lot to go off of. You're going off of little contextual clues. It's where, it's where Aladdin would be. That, <laughs> there you go. With the spice. I guess they have food. Food is good. Good little skeever there on the fire. Perfect. Perfect. Good Apu on the fire. Okay. Place for a smuggler. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's just somebody... Living above everything, they're living okay. They have they have fruit and meat and spices and bed for themselves. They're doing not terribly. Guest quarters could be could be. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Zephy, oh, so this is everything, so we can get a good overview of it. So Zephy Swink says, really, really, really well done. Wowie, I, I, Miliana did an amazing job with this place. I don't think I can actually go into the home <laughs> but transforming this courtyard even making use of the nice pool that comes with the little grand manor to have a water effect here like just everything room after room after room of creativity oh Meliana's here it's where I put my mom when she visits <laughs> Ma mom goes up on the alley makes makes sense makes sense okay Beautiful, amazing marketplace, Miliana. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. This was the Lintral Grand Manor. It really transformed. Okay. Wait, let me let me add Crisea's home. Crisea. Yes, I was supposed to go to Crisea's home tonight, and then I printed it off. I need I need to make sure I actually have the visual effects for it. So what if I don't that's gonna be an issue. I do have FX. Okay, we'll go here next. We'll go here to Crisaeus next. We'll see if I have the right number of visual effects. <laughs> so this was actually an entry for Divine Design Alliance's Take It Further Than Ever Challenge. And she wanted to make sure I visited it during our housing hike so that they could actually be here uh, while I tour through it. So this will be fun. So this is the... Stay Moist Mansion, a theme here is a mini Grand Topol Hideaway for the budget-minded adventurer. So they terraformed the Stay Moist Mansion into a tropical island and put a bunch of vacation cabanas and beach spots in it. And there are 1,822 visual effects in this home. I hope that they all loaded right. <laughs> so here we go. The screen will freeze briefly. It always does before the visual effects load. Okay, everybody love the details for Miliana's place. Now, Crisea is a whiz with the Essential Housing Tools visual effects. Always adds a lot of them. I hope that they load in here. We'll, okay, we'll give it a second to load. 822. I actually have them. Yes, they're, these were all published to the community. So Essential Housing Tools does allow you the option to share those to the community. There's also a <laughs> many helpful hideaway. The guest room, wow, you had a lot of visitors. I love that people are using this. So you can open up your home to the community. Or your, and you can come and sign this. I'll go ahead and dismiss that for now. And in we go. <laughs> so we're start, starting underwater. <laughs> One sec. Okay. In we go to Crisea's Stay Moist Mansion, which has been totally transformed using essential housing tools. They also have 600 items in this place. Oh yeah, all the DDA peeps went here for the contest. Perfect, perfect. Okay, so we're starting. <laughs> Probably should go get some air. Let me get some air. So adding the visual effects of the water and the fishies. 
kind of a good blue tint to this place. And then adding all the corals and things down below, even just that without the effects would look really amazing. Okay, going up. Oh, wow. This really, this really does look like an island. <laughs> That's really incredible. It's not what I expect out of, out of this, the Stamoys mansion, which is normally just like a big, big pod up there, right? Big mud pod. Okay, so <laughs> we have, oh, wow. It's totally changed. Adding a couple details out there, like like the the fishing boat and the little reed platform. Adding the rocks here and there, giving us a nice islandy look. Good coral everywhere. And is that Crisea? It is Crisea. Glad to see ya. Jimet says, "Holy wow!" I can I sit here? I'm gonna sit here. Hope you don't mind if I have a sit here. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Have a good sit. Without my hands. Beautiful, beautiful. Maybe step forward a sec. Okay, there we go. There we go. Beautiful. If I can get my camera to work. Get some sun on those legs. <laughs> you know I need it. Okay, so we, oh, there we go. There we go. Trying to get the camera to work with me. Lovely, lovely. She'll she'll get rid of me when her boyfriend comes along. Or whatever. <laughs> so looking amazing, looking amazing. Love the islandy look of all this. With the ramps. Ooh, maybe I can get down there. I think I'll be able to get up and down into that. A lot of use of visual effects to make some three-dimensional things, like some of those, like those reed chairs were partially made out of visual effects. Water with the crab. Okay, get up here. I don't want to miss anything. I'm pretty sure I'm going to miss, it. miss a couple things. So, yes, like here we have the reeds, but then all of the sides of this, I'll show you really quick are made using the visual effects, so adding a bit of edge to it, right? So it has a bit more substance to it. That was kind of, that's really clever. We have the waterfalls coming down. Looking great. <laughs> Darian might not like me sitting next to her. Oh yes, Chris, Chrisea and Darian. Very close. I, I can't come between them. They know that. Their, their love is that strong. At least that's what Chrisea has to tell herself. <laughs> Down, oh, let's see. Oh, I want to get up into there. Okay. There are some little side... Oh, oh gosh. How do I get everything? Okay, there's a little cool side... Uh, cabana... Banner with the bed there. Ooh, double bed. I, I like the overlapping high elf bed here to make it double wide. It works pretty nice. Looks good. Looks good. And then down below, we have some reeds next to the water. Nice place to relax. Okay, <laughs> I miss anything over, over on this side. I think there are going to be invisible walls at some point. Okay, secret hidden area, secret hidden area, beachfront. <laughs> Perfect. I didn't explore all of the island. I know that there are some extra rooms to go explore. Ah, oh, really interesting use of the of the rocks from elsewhere, kind of all scattered about. Kind of a sandy, rocky beach there. Okay, and it looks like I can somehow get up into 
here. Let me let me backtrack and see if I can't actually get into these buildings. How about from this? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'll take a step back after everything's done and show you what it looks like without the visual effects. Oh, I see Darian. <laughs> There's Darian and Crisea. Adding a lot. <laughs> every home, every home of Crisea always has the Darian pictures. So I'm gonna, using the visual effects to make these three-dimensional objects so each surface of this is a different visual effect so you can't really do 3d very well with visual effects but Crusade has found a way to do it the little magnet geodes for the for for the faucet knobs there <laughs> we'll start says darian is a smooth talker and hot we'll see we'll see if we see more of darian in the future the tea kettle there. Ooh. I like the top of there. Top of there. Oop. My paper's falling everywhere. Perfect. Nice fire. A very elegant. Using these dark elf cauldrons. Yeah, that's really fancy. I like, I like it. <laughs> Adding a plate of chocolate chip cookies using the visual effects. Each one of those sprinkles. Or each sprinkles. Each one of those chocolate chips is its own visual effect. Which is really funny. They're very chunky chocolate chips. I, I love them. Okay, let me go to the next building. Oh, oh over here, over here. Oh, we have, <laughs> we, have a, we have a bath. We have a shower. And a toilet. I'm getting really creative with the toilet here. I I gotta say, I love the lid of the home storage chest here, because you can kind of imagine that kind of lifting up. Putting it up on its side. I don't know, is this the first time you've done that, Chrisaya? It's a good toilet. Not that we think home storage is is like a toilet. We love home storage. We wish we had more. We, we want more home storage, right? Everybody's on board with that, right? The chest. <laughs> Super clever. <laughs> I, I love it. It looks very rich. There's a little lid on the top. It's amazing. And the chest doesn't count against your home furnishing cap, right? So, clever, clever. Okay, into the next cabana. Okay, we have the reeds. Ooh, we have the triple nightstands. Line those up, make the really good cabinet. Oh, wait, is that a visual effect? No, okay. Huh, I, I really love these desert sunrise flowers. They kind of have like a like a big root on the bottom of it. Oftentimes, with a lot of the plants in the in the ESO, uh, they just kind of have to sit down. They don't have any dirt texture underneath them. But this has its own root thing, so it fits pretty well in this cerulean pot here without needing a dirt texture. I like it. Chris Hayes says it was a happy discovery. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Oh, and going up. Going up into a bedroom. Ooh, very fancy. Elsewhere canopy bed. Love the potted oleander. Looking fantastic. And down below, I love the visual effect windows because it, they, they kind of operate like windows, like you can get really close to them, right? And look out, incredibly well done. 
I just walk through back <laughs> get sped out here okay I th I think that is it Chris says each window is 60 FX the wide ones yeah so this adds up to 822 total visual effects oh and then down below I did miss I did miss this I did miss okay so down from here you can walk down here and have I'm getting a great view of everything Okay, so I think that was it. <laughs> Cry Havoc wore the desert sunrise flowers a hat last week. Yes, yeah, during our furnishing frenzy. We made a mind-controlling jellyfish out of them. <laughs> that was way too funny. It fit perfectly. Okay, so I'll show you what this looks like with and without the visual effects. So this is with all the water and the visual effects. And then without it. It's like just a couple, really, it's just adding some details here, like the water or like the windows. You know, even without the visual effects, a lot of this still works really well, right? Just doesn't look as watery. <laughs> but a lot of great details being added with the visual effects. It looks amazing. Chris says, well, once you build it once, you can just keep copying and pasting it as long as you rotate it. Oh, yeah, that works really well. Jubet says you never know which home that th this was. Oh, that's the thing too. So this is the stay moist, which is building up using the, the big mud pile here. That's like all that you can see left of the home. <laughs> okay, I think we saw everything. Amazing, Chrisaya. Love it, love it. Your mini grand, your mini grand topol hideaway, mini topol hideaway. And it has a lot of space in it, so it was, it was a good choice for this place. Okay, I think we got it. Chris A.S. says, thanks for hitting it. Oh, thank you. Thank you for reminding me. I would have hated to have missed out on this, so thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, great pleasure here. Thank you so much. Okay, so we have two more homes on our housing hike. Thank you again. Okay, we'll go to Cloud Traders Moon Mirth up next as we continue along with our housing hike, touring player houses, getting decoration inspiration. Maybe seeing some good use of visual effects here. Chris A.S. says, thanks everyone. Property, that was the <laughs> Stay Moist Mansion. Okay, Cloud Trader's Moon Mirth up next. Cloud Trader called this a hobby shed. Maybe a little bit of an RP background to this. It's a place for the Lady of Laughing Moon's Plantation to go and dabble in her hobbies. See if there's if anybody know anything about Lady of Laughing Moons. Maybe that's a Cloud Trader's own story. Or maybe that's building off of something that's already within the ESO lore. I don't know. Laughing Moons feels like a Khajiit type of a thing. Maybe a moon sugar plantation. Okay, heading in. We have Moon Mirth Hobby Shed. Let's see, do I go? Okay, don't all leave. Moon Mirth is very small, right? This is only 200 out of 200 place, but there are 200 items in here. Cloud Trader says Laughing Moon's Plantation is where Moon Mirth is located. Oh, okay, that's. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> okay, so building up off of Canarthia's Roost, which is. That's more like a Kajiti place, right? So Laughing Moons uh, in... Okay, now it makes sense then. Fitting into the environment as it is. I weirdly don't own this home. Maybe, maybe I'll be inspired here to go buy this and do something with it. Okay, so we have... Okay, so what does the lady of Laughing Moons Plantation do when she has some time? I mentioned she doesn't have a lot of time. So she dabbles in pottery. See, she didn't dabble enough in the bent one there. But, <laughs> dabbling in pottery, making some cups, some some good things, doing some painting. So a lady of many talents here with the paintings. She is maybe hunting some bounties. Bounty hunter. Lady of Laughing Moons. 
making some gold on the side. Figure eights. Figure eights. I love how this kind of tells us tells a story a bit. She makes some clothes. <laughs> Cat, the bounty hunter. <laughs> Sammy says, beautiful. It's hard to make that space look good. This is impressive. Good use of all the clothing items like the spools and the arm balls and tapestries. Very colorful, right? And more over here with like the dyeing and everything. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Cover. Cover. Oh, I can't open that. Oh, no. It's not openable from there. Oh, it's okay. Let's see. The Lady of Laughing Moon's Plantation also does a little bit of tinkering with dwarven stuff. Interesting. Ah. Maybe even built herself a precursor. And... She also does some alchemical things. And she writes. She takes very detailed notes. She makes potions, grinds up things, maybe for, that are grown on the plantation. Blind Stargazer says, Cozy, I love small places like this. Weighing things very carefully with those scales. And, wait, can I open this? That's a small one, isn't it? Oh, I can't open the... No, oh, I want to open something today. <laughs> it's okay. And... The Hobby Shed also has a little bed where she can have some wine. Take in the relaxing music and some nice smelling incense here. And fall asleep reading a book and having some skooma. Perfect. Perfect. There's a lot that's been added to this place. The hobby shed. Adding a lot. And telling the story a little bit. Tells us a lot about the character that lives here. So really playing up the kind of RP side of this. The role playing side of this. With how might a character live. A pretty well to do character right. You know they're, they're, they. The lady of the plantation can afford to dabble in these sorts of extravagancies. Not really accessible to most of the dwellers of Tamriel, so you can kind of imagine. Kind of imagine. Blind Stargazer says, I really love this house. It's a place where someone lives. It's fun, isn't it? Open the turtle. Wait, there was, there was a curious turtle. I missed it. I missed it. Oh, there it is, there it is. Perfect, perfect. I, I'm gonna guess it has nothing in it. Oh my gosh, it has something in it. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Gothic Raven. It has a little bread morsel in it. Perfect. It's like the smallest item in the game. It's like the only thing that fits in there. Beautiful. <laughs> Love it so much. Okay, I'll leave it closed. As I found it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you to Cloud Trader for amazing Moon Mirth House. Love it. Okay, last home. Last home today is Glassid's Greenhouse. Wait, wait, wait. Red threads. Oh, oh! I have, I have a story about red thread. I have for later. Stubby says for a sandbox with nothing in it, Cold Harbor's real estate. Oh yeah, talking about what homes that you want to try to build in. Okay, now Glassid, I remember had built a really amazing elsewhere castle in in their Sigic villa. So I'm really curious what Glassit has done with this Hall of the Living Champion. Okay, this this is what this room looks like without anything in it. Looks like a lot of people have been here. Okay, I'm signing this. 
It looks like a lot of people have been able to take all this in. Just look at how incredible this is with the lights coming up. Okay, there's nothing in here. Um, I'm going to guess that this has been built out into the, the first wing here. Okay, we're going to go to the Halls of Colossus. <laughs> there we go. Now, oh gosh. <laughs> People say Glasset does really amazing work. I, yeah, definitely see that here. Okay, here we are in the Halls of Colossus, the first wing of the Hall of the Lunar Champion. I'll be getting a second wing with Scalebreaker here in a, about a month. We have the Alfik to greet us. So, pretty well everything that you see here has been built up because it's otherwise just flat. The only thing that you would normally see here are these four columns. And then beyond, or yeah, these four columns. Beyond that, everything has been added here. So all these elsewhere, uh, walls and and all the Alinor stairways, every, all the water that you see up above here, everything above where I'm standing has been built up. So this place is really different from what otherwise would look like. So let me just emphasize that. Okay, going up. Ooh, the water features. Using just a few tasteful uh, water visual effects. Add the water here. I'm trying to get a good view of this. I have not seen these elsewhere. Uh, I think they're called like tall street lights. They're really big. I, don't, I haven't seen these too much. They're very expensive to craft. They are craftable though. So this is, oh, it's a greenhouse. Yeah, that's what we're working our way to. Greenhouses out there, but we do have some really beautiful uh, creations out here. Ooh, I, I kind of like how this has been placed, like more like a diamond orientation. And then using the elsewhere sarcophagus as a platform for this. Now, okay, okay, this is this is pretty clever. What what Glasset has done is they've taken the elsewhere sarcophagi and they've overlapped them in a way that you actually get multiple different boxes of these. So this is actually, I think, four of the sarcophagi that have been layered together. So you have like one here, one here, one here. Like you can kind of imagine them being like two by two. So you get all these little spaces for different plants to be in, right? Very, very creative. And then they've done the same thing down below here, just but they've done like two by two all the way around. So that's a really amazing looking planter. Same on the other side. There's a lot of plants growing out of it. Kind of a nice aqueduct feel with this. Oh wow, I love how there are like little pipes in here. imagine this being functional okay up and up towards it we haven't even got to the main feature yet <laughs> which is this greenhouse oh man using these display cases oh gosh okay what's the best way to approach it i think i'm gonna go in through the the main archway here so using these display cases you get the light effect, so you, so you can still see the sun up above, right? With all the water in here. And then, oh, that's beautiful, beautiful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Grats on the flawless VMA clear as well. <laughs> Verg Bruce with the sub, resub. Thank you so much. VMA clear. I, I, I try to do some VMA every week. Thank you so much, thank you so much. I'll do some giveaways for Twitch after we're done. I think this is a, this is our final home, so we'll, this will be our last home, and then we'll wrap up and do some giveaways. Oh, this all the display cases with the glass and everything—it looks beautiful. And then we have lots of plants being grown here. I kind of want to focus in on all of these plants that are being grown. So using using these little little baskets to grow various mushrooms and plants. Some of these are from the home goods furnishers. Some of these are just rare plants. Some of these 
come exclusively from various homes. A couple luxury plants. So just kind of like a lot of variety here. A lot of these being all displayed on the table. Matthew G says, so awesome. Sulkin says, love that greenhouse. It's beautiful. And then pumpkins being grown. Flowers of various types. Wheelbarrow transplanting some stuff. Perfect, perfect. Feel very hot in here, right? And a bit of like the natural environment being incorporated into this as well. Kind of like the water with the lily pads and the frog and everything in it. Or up on a pedestal here, the little miniature bottled garden. That's a good touch. <laughs> I love all the details on this. I th I think okay. I think that will be. I think that will be it. So beautiful structure made out of those display cases. Man, that's that's where all the vitrified Milando goes in the game. <laughs> is is to these display cases. Good craftable item. Yeah, so many of them too. And then, you know, really doing a great job with the elsewhere furnishings, these Eleanor furnishings to create this platform. Like they could have just put the greenhouse down on the main level, right? Like just put the greenhouse, like just plunk the greenhouse like right here. But instead, instead what they did is they built this entire structure so that you get the water incorporated into it. So, <laughs> Chris a says, this is sick. So beautiful. Zephyr Swing says, it's gorgeous. Frigoletko says, very lively. Dubat says, really well planned and executed greenhouse. Grandma the Gamer says, good grief, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah, this is, so this is Glassid's greenhouse in the Hall of the Lunar Champion. So this is, this is out in the halls of Colossus. So, it's beautiful. Blessed. Did an amazing job with this place. Even some little hanging plants by the entrance. That's a lot of details. You can miss them all. There are so many. Okay, so uh, we'll wrap up here. Let me find a good place to good place to be. Like here? Here? Here looks good. Okay, well, we'll wrap up here. We'll do some giveaways for Twitch chat. And one we'll call tonight. So, look, intimidating. There we go. Thank you, everybody, for our amazing housing hike. We toured some beautiful homes. We got some decoration inspiration. And had a lot of fun doing it. Man, the creativity tonight was phenomenal. So, thank you so much that. So, <laughs> thank you so much to everybody that opened up their homes for me to tour. We do do this every Friday evening. So if you want me to tour your home, that can be on either PCNA or PCEU. Please send me a mail in game. I can come tour your house. One or two a week is, is a good amount. And then I also upload screenshots of these and put them on my website at spicyeconomics.com. I upload these to YouTube. If you want to subscribe to me, that'd be fantastic. And we'll do this next Friday. So That'll be fun. So you can follow me on Twitch too if you have not. Twitch.tv slash JR Ellis. And have fun with housing. Have fun with the Elder Scrolls Online. And stay spicy. Boo. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>